Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be making stew peas. It's one of my favorite Jamaican dishes. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment down below to let me know if there's any other meals that you'd like to see me prepare. Thank you, keep watching. So, these are all my ingredients for my stew peas. Uh, let me see if anything is missing. Um, I have some garlic, pimento seeds, some carrots, uh, my dumpling, I already need the flour, I, got, I need coconut, um, pepper, thyme, and scallion, and I've washed my peas, and I am now going to sort out my salt beef and my pig's tail, I usually cut off the majority of the fat, this is like pretty much what I cut off already, yeah, so I'm going to cut this off and um, I'll show you how I make my stew peas so while I'm waiting on my or while I'm getting my meat done I'm just gonna boil my peas and what I usually do is add my pimento seed and my garlic to my peas and then I cover it and let it boil so after I've cut <coughs> and taken off all the fat from my salt beef, this is pretty much what it looks like. I took, I don't like a lot of fat on my food, so if I have to, you know, I'll take my time and do it. And I cut them into cubes. And I pretty much did the same thing with the pig tail. I took off majority of the fat and I cut them like, ah, uh, chop them rather really smaller now I am going to boil or scald whatever we call it back home to get majority of the salt off and then I'm gonna put them in a pressure cooker so it cooks faster or else I'm gonna be in the kitchen all freaking day so I'm gonna put both of them in the same pot uh, some boiling water right there. Yep. So, I'll have this on. And, I am still cooking my peas with my garlic and my pimento seed. So, I'll just leave my peas to um, almost cook, pretty much. So, this has been boiling for 15 minutes. I'm gonna throw the water off and then boil it again for another 15 minutes. Ooh. So one down, one to go. I'm gonna boil it again for another 15 minutes to get the majority of the salt out. So I forgot to cut up my onion. My onion is also a part of my meal spices. Um, my coconut is no good, so I'm gonna be using the creamed coconut. I usually, when I go to the grocery store, I get two coconuts because half the time they're not usually good. Yeah, but um, uh, I hate using these, but I'm going to try it anyway. So now that I've boiled it twice, I'm going to put it in my pressure cooker. And allow it. Oh, allow it to um, cook. I'm going to cover this. So, put it on high. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to um, cook so that the meat gets tender. And then, I'm going to take a look at my peas, what's going on next door. So I'm going to add some more water to this. And 
cover again. So after you turn your pressure cooker off and check your meat, it should pretty much be tender. So my beef is tender and my pork is tender also. So I'm gonna pour this water off and add it to my peas and allow it to cook together. Cooked and mushy. Some of them are cooked, some of them are not. Story of my life. So after my peas is cooked, I'm gonna add my meat. And then I'm gonna add my coconut milk. So I've added the coconut milk. I'm gonna stir it in. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my seasoning. I'm going to allow this to cook for maybe 15 minutes. Covered. So everything is gonna be combined. And then I can um, taste it if I need to add a little salt to it because the salt beef and the pig's tail is usually salty. It doesn't matter how long you boil them, sometimes they're still salty. So I usually wait until then before I add salt. And then I'll add my carrots and my dumplings. So after my coconut is cooked in, I am going to add my carrots. And then I'm going to add my dumplings. My spinners and some small dumplings. Pretty much pre-made. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna add those in a minute. Now I'm gonna add my spinners. Ooh, blurry. So after my dumplings are cooked, and this gets thick. I can turn the stove off because everything is pretty much cooked. The only thing that's not cooked is the dumplings because I just added them in. My stew peas and I've paired it up with some basmati rice and a salad with strawberries and tomato and lettuce.